the networking opportunities here at CPPCon are well above and beyond any other C++ conference that I've ever been to. Don't worry, don't worry, it's not too forbidden. Um, so we're gonna play like a, a game and the game is gonna, don't do this at work. The game is gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna show you a snippet of code. You're gonna tell me if it compiles and if it does what the output is. Please shout the answer, that's fine. I'm gonna give you like five to 10 seconds for each question. Um, assume C++ 20. So first of all, we have a Boolean B equals to true. I'm printing plus plus B. Does this compile? No, because bool, decrement, bool incrementation got deprecated in C++ 17. Cool. Now I have a char array of size three. I'm setting it equal to pi. I'm printing a string. What is that output? Because of the null terminator, implicit null terminator in the end of the string. Cool. So far, so good. I've seen this in actual code. Uh, so let's see. It's in 3D array, and I'm doing an unsigned, unsigned char pointer pointer array two, and I'm setting it equal to the second, to the two dimensional array inside the 3D dimensional array. And I'm checking if these are equal. Does this compile, and if it does, <laughs> what is the output? <laughs> this doesn't compile. The correct uh, type is unsigned char pointer of array, uh, but this would compile and would print true, <laughs> uh, if you're using the second type. Now I have, this is a classic one, I have an array, and I'm indexing into a number using that array. Does this compile? <laughs> yeah, it does. This is equivalent to doing, uh, addition, adding the addresses and then dereferencing that. All right, so I have uh, a variadic function that takes in a bunch of arguments, and I'm doing an unfold or fold expressions. Does this compile? You don't have to tell me the answer. Yes. Yeah. This does compile, and it unfolds to negative three minus negative 14 minus negative one minus, and it's equal to six. Uh, sure, so I have a, a, a struct with a bit field, and I'm setting it equal to one. I'm adding to that bit field, and I'm printing it. Does it compile and what is the output? This does compile, it is one, and then you add one to it, it overflows to negative two, but the real question is, is this undefined behavior? I don't know. Can anyone tell me in the audience? It could be implementation defined, I, that's what I hear. Cool, uh, okay, this is a fun one. Struct i with end, float, and string. I'm using aggregate initialization for all these values for i1, i2, and i3. Does this compile and what does it print? Wrong order. So this doesn't compile because in aggregate initialization has to be in the same order that the members are defined in the class. By the way, the i3, like the Rust-like syntax with a column, this, this is a GCC extension and it works in Clang but not MSVC. So this is not in the standard. Um, Okay, I have a lambda, a templated lambda that takes in t. I return two plus two, and I'm calling the lambda with zero, but I'm specifying the template is an int. What is the output? Why does it not compile? Yes, you cannot do the int thing syntax on uh, a lambda. All right, so I have a function get if is content constant evaluated, returns three, otherwise 14. I have auto v1, auto, const auto v2, const expert auto v3, and const expert const auto v4. <laughs> what is the output? It does depend. Uh, I have that in here. Is this guaranteed? I don't know. I don't think the const out of v2 is guaranteed, but const expert should be guaranteed, right? Okay. Um, this is a fun one. Uh, let's see if we have time. Uh, I'm going to skip that one. <laughs> and this is a fun one. Okay. Uh, L is a struct that inherits from a bunch of types. Use their operator. I have, I'm passing a couple lambdas. I'm calling it with three, 14, and I'm just calling it without any arguments. What is the output? And does it compile? I don't think you get a warning. I think this is used in, this, in the standard as a pattern for a standard visit, maybe. So this does, oh, maybe, yeah, conversion. Yeah, that's an error in conversion, but it does compile. It gives me this uh, nice thing. All right, last one is the fun one. So I have a struct T1. Uh, overloads call operator, struct T2 inherits from T1, overloads call operator uh, to print question mark, and then uh, if Z inherits from T, which is defaulted to T2, it instantiates a T and it calls that call operator inside its call operator. Uh, and I have a deduction guide. 
it says whatever you pass into T or to Z, make it a T1. Cool. I'm instantiating Z1 with T1, <laughs> Z2 with T2, with, with, with T2, and then Z3 with, with, uh, with Z itself. And I'm calling it. What would the output be? All right, for sure, I'm telling the compiler whatever you pass to Z, just make it a T1. So this should, this should be bang, bang, bang. That is incorrect. So let's see. What does this do? This calls a copying constructor, which is a special number function. So the, it gets chosen over the template, uh, the uh, direction guide. So this prints uh, bang, bang, question mark. Thank you. Oops, sorry.